Hello, welcome to How to Draw Celtic Knots. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber, and we're concerning ourselves with corners with interlace patterns. Um, take your next thickest pigment liner and your eraser. I want you to gently erase the spine, but not the grid outline of the design, so that you're just left with your interlace pattern. to start drawing around the interlace but not over where they overlap where the interlace overlaps so basically just outline where the interlace is going to meet the negative space We're going to cut in with cross hatching as well. In the next several videos, I'm going to show you what to do with a double line in a wave pattern and a triple line, like a triple braid. And then I'll start cutting to block patterns that don't use triples. you're already familiar with constructing the repeating interlace patterns. You can see how easy it is on this side when the wave meets and just turns, but when it's odd and doesn't meet, that's when we run into a difficulty. after that. All right. The dot and this dot. All right. Let's do some more erasing where the pencil line was a little deep. Great. Now I'm going to start cross-hatching it. I'm going to get my next thickest, which is a 0.5, out. And I'm just going to start cross hatching and cutting up to the interlace, but not going over. This is kind of the more fun part because you don't have to concentrate on where the direction of the ribbon's going to be, you just want to fill it up. You can kind of get into that zone that artists tend to get into, where you're almost just being automatic. And it's really like a meditative state, really. If you start studying Celtic artifacts, you'll notice that the first interlace patterns generally started out in the late 500s and the early 600s when the Celtic folks were starting to make Celtic crosses out of stone as well as illuminated gospel books.
and as time went on, when you start seeing the examples of gospel books from the late 600s to the 700s, and then finally the Book of Kells, likely in the early 800s, the knot work starts getting more and more intricate. All right, so you just start filling up all the space and crotch hatching in the opposite direction. So again, when you're constructing, when you begin to do this, pencil out the grid with the boxes and then start going side to side.